So those of you that have followed my channel for a little while know that my husband has wanted to raise rabbits and we have a Flemish giant rabbit here on our farm and my husband wants to have a little rabbit tree. And so far our rabbit has been living in the basement, making a mess and in our garage, preventing us from parking our cars inside, even though it's almost December. And we finally, finally are just about to the point where we can move him out into the little red shed on our property. And to finish this process up, I'm gonna be turning the door that is on the shed into a Dutch style door. I'm Kelsey from Rough and Tumble Farm farmhouse.com where every single week I share videos about farming, family food, and fortitude here on our five acre homestead in northern Minnesota. So I'll be perfectly honest with you, I have yet to actually write the blog post that goes along with this Dutch door project. So I don't know the history of these doors or anything like that. So if you want more information on that, check the description box below. I will show you what I'm going to be doing. And again, if you are familiar with this channel, you know that all of my construction projects are completely half-baked and I'm basically just kind of winging it because I really have no idea what I'm doing. So I just kind of go for it. So if that's the sort of construction project that you also are into, please Please keep watching if you're anyone who knows anything about construction please stop watching because this is probably going to be kind of painful for you so here is the door in question and i'll show you too i don't know how it'll show up because it's pretty dark but this is what we're turning into a little rabbitry here and we're gonna kind of go with a little bit of a colony concept i guess is the plan so that is why we have put this mesh around the outside to prevent the bunnies from uh, chewing on wood and to add just a little extra layer of protection from other critters that might be interested in coming in, like this nefarious character. What's up, Nick? Uh, but so the door here, as you can see, there's no real natural light. There is a little window up there in the loft area, but that's really not giving a whole lot of light to the buns. So we are gonna be turning this door here into a Dutch style door. So pretty straightforward I think I hope is there is a handle out here already and so here I figured this will work to be the top part of the bottom part of the door so I am just gonna go ahead and put uh, another set of bracing here to be what it will be the bottom of the top level of the door. I'm going to add some hinges here to the outside. So right now there's three hinges. So I'm gonna add an extra hinge to the top door. Then I don't have a handle, but we'll need another handle for here. And then I have some latches that I'm gonna throw on as well. So again, pretty straightforward. Hopefully it shouldn't take too long here. I have a limited window while my toddler is napping and the newborn is napping and my husband's watching after both of them. So we'll see how the project goes. Lord knows that when I die, the sins I'm going to have to answer for are most definitely going to include thousands and thousands of destroyed drill bits. <laughs> okay, since I checked in, which was just mere seconds ago for you, but been a while for me, I'll show you uh, the progress I've made. So, and it's also too hot to wear a hat, but not, it's like that weird fall kind of temperature. Okay, so, so these crooked sons of guns went in. They're in, they're not perfect, but they're in to keep the top door more stable. And then out here, I threw on another hinge, which definitely looks new compared to its rusty counterparts. And then I also put on just a real simple latch for the bottom part of the door. These things are really simple to install in our Pretty, I think people have been using these sort of latches for like millennia. Uh, I had to have it over a little further left than I would have liked because of these nails that were here. They just happened to line up about perfectly, but it still is pretty snug and secure, I think. So I feel pretty good about that. And again, really easy and didn't destroy a drill bit, thank goodness. One thing, if you're 
watching this and you are also a half-baked carpenter like I am, just making sure that when you install these, you have it so that it's latching downwards, like not flipped upside down, so that it's latching up. You want it latching down. So there's that. The next thing that I have to do that I am not looking forward to is making the cut. So cutting these, cutting this door into two doors. Most of the time when I cut things, I don't really care if I'm super sloppy and it can be wiggly wobbly, but with a door, I feel like it should be pretty darn straight. So I'm gonna need to make sure it's nice and level all the way across here. And I'm gonna get my measuring tape and a good straight something and make it happen. Okay, hat back on. It's cold enough for the hat again. Well, I have a Dutch door, technically. My line is not very straight. <laughs> I ended up having to go and grab the Sawzall, uh, which after it basically rattling my brain straight out of me, um, I made a very ugly cut I will show you here. So hideous, yes. Some little sandpaper can fix up so it looks a little bit better. Definitely not straight, especially there at the end. But um, check that out. What's up, Dutch door? So what I need to do, I'm gonna pop a screw right there, that's for sure. Uh, is I'm just gonna add another latch here quick so that probably like right about here so that I can latch the two doors together. Um, I don't see a reason necessarily to have a way to just latch the top and not the bottom. I mean, at least in the winter, if it comes to that, I can certainly add another latch easily enough. But for now, I'm just gonna pop that other latch on there and we should be good to go. But I mean, hey, that's happening, right? All right, so I have put on the other latch here. So let's see how she functions. So let's say we want to have the door all the way shut, which it is top and bottom, currently latched. Grab onto the handle. Oh, whole thing opens, perfect. Shut the door. Put our latch on, nice and solid. Let's say it's a beautiful winter day. We want the bunnies to have a lot of fresh air and sunshine. Lift the latch, swing it open. Oh, I would call that a Dutch door, my friends. Not bad, not bad for a nap time's worth of work. The only thing I didn't really do was finish uh, doing the sanding here, which, I mean, who's got time for that right now? So when my husband's out dinking around, he can deal with the sanding. I have the door complete. So now I'm gonna go and try and get a couple more things done before the girls are up and see what I can't check off the list today while we still have some really nice mild weather here in Minnesota in December. Thank you so much for watching. If you have made a Dutch door and have any tips or advice for people who might have found this video looking to make their own, please leave them in the comments. Always much appreciated. Otherwise, you can always find a new video here about farming, family food, and fortitude here at our Rough and Tumble Farmhouse.